Welcome guys to another episode of Digimon World 2003. Now, my headset decided to be a complete and total derp and decided to not record my voice. So guess what? This is post-commentary sticking onto the vid, so... Let's see here, I go up the steps. And it looks like I go to talk to the lady. We had to come back here after a while, so that's probably what I said before. Yes, there's an auction that sells rare items, but I wonder how you can participate. Yeah, that's gonna be in a while. I'm a little bit upset because now I gotta do this post, and it sounds like I'm doing commentary on my commentary. So yeah, the Gatamon is basically your way of recovering your HP and DS. And then it shows that um, it costs money to do so. The Gardamon there is your save feature, save and load. Uh, we come back here later on for an event. The lady there is just there for reasons. We go into the underground path, which is the uh, sub-quadrant. Moving on down there, we go into the sewers. I like the theme for the sewers. We picked up 300 bits. That other box there we won't get till much later, so don't even mind that one. So we got the 300 bits showing it off pretty much. Everybody's still level 1. I'm also quite upset because also the game decided to reset on me after figuring out that this thing decided to go kaput and I lost a lot of my progress. Whoopee me. What a swell way to start the let's play. So I go here to the sub quadrant here and basically the Gilmon will give you hints and tips. <laughs> I'm still mad because all my audio was destroyed and lost because the freaking headphone jack wasn't in all the way and I shoved it in there with about 20 pounds of force. Then this is the El Dorito. I'm going to call it El Dorito because I'm in a pissed mood. So we need we need to have everybody up to like level 4 or 5. Then we actually be able to go in there. All right, we need a charisma like 50 or something plus to get in there. Oh. Yeah, you people can probably tell I'm quite upset. <laughs> I really am. Okay, so we move on from there, and then we took a look. And I opened up my status for some reason. I don't even remember what I even talked about. Oh, I was showing off yeah, the skills and whatnot there. The fist is attack. Oh, that was my controller going bye-bye. The fist is attack, the shield is defense, spirit is uh, like your um, special defense, and the book is your knowledge, and then you got your speed, and you have your your uh, seven tolerances and such. You have your charisma down there. You can equip the helmet, a bodysuit, um, right and left for weapons or armor, two accessory slots. Some accessory slots uh, clash with each other, so you can't do like um, small power electricity and counter crest because it won't activate. Or you can't, or you can't do the multi hit with the counter crest. Something like that. So apparently, I'm taking my sweet time just sitting there and explaining all this to people, and I just reconnected it again. Oh no, wait, did I just lose it on my own <laughs> post commentary? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was me. I'm lost. Alright, so apparently I'm still talking. Still talking. Um, I think I'm still talking. Or did I. Or did I stop to go get something to eat? I can't remember. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about the fire, water, the the different elements. Why am I taking this long to explain it? My god. Come on, me. Move on. Viewers are home either yawning or they're laughing their balls off at my commentary. Which one? Oh my god, me, do something. 
Am I still exp Oh, thank God you, di you did something for once. Oh, this is going to be a horrible, horrible redub. Okay, so yeah, now I go to the... I talked to Maniac Jack about the whole weapons, up and net power and such, but now all Digimon could hold it. Talked about how Kumamon can't have, like, claws, Patamon can't wear gloves, and Geomon can't wear gloves. Stuff like that. And then there was the one lady there that just tells you about the folders and the bags and stuff like that. And then yeah, the AOA gets caught. Yippee. Now we go into the Yellow Cruiser and basically, you know, I had hype explaining the system, but now my hype has gone thanks to my own headphones. Get, turn into a buzz kill. Insert three folders you created, yada yada yada. What a, what's a folder? A folder is a set of 40 cards you can put together. You can put in the four cards of the same in a set, yada yada yada. What sets of cards? What do you do with those? My frickin' oh my god. I need a better USB for my frickin' controller. Yes, I am impossible. This is impossible. This is the biggest load of bull I have to deal in the whole Let's Play. And the Let's Play is only like two, three episodes already. Okay, so, yeah, so there's a match going on. I drew Kalamon so you go first. It tells you, yep, Kalamon goes first and Mon goes second. It's a draw phrase, so I'll take six from my deck. Yay, got good cards. Load phase, which means you can put out a program card, which is a card you use to summon items or stuff and trading out. Pass on that. There's a Leomon in the background, but I don't think anybody cares. Summon phase brings out the cards. Same time, guy has two Hawkmons, two Agamons, and two Maramons. Lady has only one Candlemon, but she probably has something interesting up her sleeve. Something like that. What? Are you making fun of me? No, I got a plan. A true tamer always battles with full of deck. Probably has a whole boatload of buffs on that Candlemon just to kick the other guy's ass. Yeah, scribble knots. Alright, so I'll make fire cannon against my Renamon obsolete with, of course, Freeze Bug. So what's next? Freeze Bug is the worst worst card in the entire game. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Freeze Bug cancels all program cards used against the other player. Cancels it out. The only thing I hate more than that is the whole Oh, they can take control of your cards thing with the whole color um, about. Pass through so that's the end of the compile stage, which is the stuff you put in for against people. So now it's the battle phase. Yay! Out of the AP, the HP, and the Digimon, and yada yada yada, moving on. Come on, me, move on. One Gromon with 18 attack and 20 HP. Is three Renamons. 4 attack and 4 HP, so that's 12 all together. However, summons Talmon when there's 3 cards put together, so it gets an additional 12 AP and 12 HP, so it's 24 24 against the other guy's 18 20. Guy gets creamed, and it's pretty ugly. Okay, come on, keep talking. Come on. Oh, that's right. Since your AP is now 24 to 4, so you win. Yes, but all battles are 2 out of 3. So it's not over yet. Which means she can win, he can win, and there's one more round. She wins twice, it's over. See, it's very exciting. I don't think you'll be able to get there fast, but here's a bowl, here's a folder with 3 with uh, practice cards. It's actually not too bad. The deck he gives you is actually a little bit OP in the beginning for certain people. But then again, it's just certain people are just pretty bad at picking cards. But they get better down on the road, and I tell you what, it's a real pain in the ass. So here I am, I'm talking to the Divermon, thinking, oop, you'll bring up the shop. 
when uh, I knew for a fact that I need to leave, then come back. Thank you very much, Shomada. Then he comes, then you're able to go back there and actually talk to the person. Oh my god, why? So, open booster, or buy one card. Holy crap, they're expensive, yeah. The only thing cheap here is the armor. Mm, yeah, that's just basically me complaining and riling about the expenses in here. And you could probably grind for like like the 20 bits off the Kunamons for like a week. And you could probably afford one of these cards. Something of the fact like that. Either that or you go ahead and just use speed uh, hacks and do all that and yada yada yada. And this is just basically me opening up the folder, showing you people the folder. And I think I renamed the folder. Yes, I did. I probably named it something awesome like Omni Cannon. Wait, what? Oh, I named it after me. Oh, go figure. Oh, God, I need a drink. All right, so yeah, so to talk about the whole compile phase, bring out the digivices and summon them and all that and. I got, I got like three more of these vids I gotta do with redubbing. Oh, there goes like two hours of my life. Yeah, then all the cards there, and each time you put in one of the uh, specialties, like the nature one, you get like one point to your nature counter. Uh, certain Digimon like champions, ultimates require a certain amount of uh, counters to summon them. Yada yada yada, like that. I know I'm not sounding very enthusiastic, but I'm actually still in pissed mode because of my headphones not recording. Me. Sound. And I had a whole lot of snappy one-liners here, too. The worst part is I couldn't even reset it all because I, because I saved. Because it sounded like my headphones were in. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, the, the brown ones are the wild cards. They don't cost anything to summon out, so you can bring out three of those black Imperial Dramons that you've seen there, and wouldn't even cost you a dime. Yeah, the browns are considered the wild card factor here. But there are certain cards out there that'll actually destroy your brown cards, or... Basically, your opponent will take control of them. So apparently I'm still yakking and talking and... Or something. I'd like myself to hurry up here. Okay, so pretty much that. Finally, I close out of there because I realized that I've got some pretty poor cards and I'm broke as hell and I can't do anything much. So that's the Tree of Life pass through here. That's the old couple. We're going to have to talk to them later on for plot. Next is the Cargo Tower, which is basically... we got to come back there for really neat stuff later on. But not right now. So I think by this part here, I think we were almost done with the tour. I honestly don't remember. So back to the inn. Go. I think we leave to go to the bar. Lamp Chop, which is considered the bar. Yep. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think we were finally done with the uh, the town tour. I think we're ready to move on out. 
nope, nope, I was wrong apparently. There's still the we still got the shop. The Smith shop, which is basically where we have to go to for items and such. There's items you can't buy in stores. Mr. Smith said he doesn't know anything about it. Oh, he knows about it. He definitely knows about it. The wizard mons are in charge of the item shops, which is basically your pills and buffs and stuff like that. Healing, recovery. Power charge recovers your HP. The antidote disc rid you of um, poison. The revive disc for, para for para paralysis. Energy disc gets rid of all item, uh, all ailments. Life disc. Li yeah, life disc. I did this in the parts. Good God. Life disc. Revives your fallen allies. Oh my god. Life plug. Restores your HP and MP by half. I can't believe it. That's the third time in the in the entire recording session of saying that. Then you got your guard plugs and you get your aura plugs. And then you got your generator fields. Which generates your different types of um, fields. Increase your damage for elemented attack. Blast Gauge increases the Blast Digivolution Gauge, which causes Digimon to Blast Digivolve, which is another segment in itself. Then uh, there's the Random Field, and I stated that the Dark Field was the strongest one because it's Effeminity. Oh, my nose. This aggravation is making my nose run. Then we got the Pawn Shop, which is basically the segment where you can buy rings and stuff. Like for your power, your attack power, and garb, your defense, spirit, wisdom. Then you get your boost, charisma, and all that. Uh, if you're short for on the requirement for say like a little bit off for darkness, and you need that like little extra umph, just put on the ring and then just level up or go into the battle. And at the end of the battle, meets the requirements for level and the um, amounts. In the uh, attribute, then you can get the Digivolution. Basically, me explaining about the whole things and all that. And then there's the whole uh, Antidote Ring, which is good against Poison. Revive Ring is good against Paralysis. The Awake Ring is good for against those that will put you to sleep. When you're asleep, you only got uh, access to three options, which is Tag, Item, and Run. The somber ring pretty much confuses you, and you're left with some pretty interesting choices. <sighs> when we hit one by one with the Gekkomon, and later on, you'll find out. Then I'm going back and explaining all this in detail in the game, not knowing my headphones were not plugged in for some whatever odd reason, even though I heard the game's audio. Stupid headphones. Then you have the uh, the prayer ring, which is more resistant to KO, which is a godsend for this version because Magna Anjumon's OP with his Gate of Destiny spam. And then you got the Digitama, which does the Soul Snatcher, which is a one-hit kill as well. Other Digis out there with one-hit kills, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Which is the main reason why I got Pata out of the way in the selection was because I did not want to fight Magna Anjumon and get hit with that Gate of Destiny spam with that RNG. That's not for me to roll on that one. Oh my god. So I'm still talking, still talking and all that sort of stuff and apparently I'm looking at the level registration for this um, read here and apparently it's fluctuating too much because it won't even register my voice on a steady level uh, let's see here I'm still talking St I'm still ranting about the Magna Anjumon one hit KO apparently oh my god I have to wait until the until I'm done talking about it to talk about something else <laughs> This is the worst thing that I have ever had to do. This is worse than running into the return bugs on my last Let's Play of Digimon World 2. Oh. And then I'm trying to sell items thinking I had items, but I derped down and realized, oh, I got no items. Okay, I think I... No, I'm not done. Damn it, I'm not done. 
I still got the armory. Yeah, the armory is where you get your armor, your your arms, and yeah. Doesn't take rocket science to know what this is. So basically, I bought the armor and stuff to boost my charisma defenses. So an armor will boost charisma and defense, so an armors won't. Defenses will sometimes boost your offensive and other stuff. Sometimes it will decrease it. So it just really depends. So I'm still going through the selection of picking which one. I ended up going with Ribbon because it was... It was pretty cheap, considering my realm of amount of money. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get back to the buckler deal in probably the next part because I gotta redub that one. In like three parts I gotta redub, which is stupid. Thanks, headphones. Now I gotta redub everything, even especially my Gilmon rants. Oh uh, my! And that was the best interpretation of Gilmon I've ever done in my life. It sounded just like in the anime. And you people are probably never gonna hear it too. And you're probably never gonna care anyway. So what am I to say? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm finally decided to move on. No, I'm still looking at myself. Yeah, then I'm finally gone. Alright, so there's an item up there that we have to come back to much later on in the game. Then I went backwards, and I got stuck on a wall, and then I went back down to a Submarimon port. Can't do that till much later, then just showing it off, moving up. Yeah, okay, move on. Moving on to the next segment. Alright, so... Then I'm talking to the Leo Mon there. This is the training gym. You want to work out. I have no TP, so I thought it was just a one-talk segment. Then talk again. Alright, so apparently so. Talking, talking, yada, yada, rada, rada talk about training I stated in there that all the training I'm gonna show each one off once just to show off the animation but the rest of it's gonna be off screen because this game really bites on RNG for my end so it but at the end of this part I en decided to end it off with a card battle and it sucked too because I had such a great hand so now I gotta post commentate it Thanks. Yeah, I choose Almada. And I choose the second card, and it gave me Calamon. Says, you go first. Alright, I draw six cards. I got two Agurus, and I got the power... I got the trade charge program, which allowed me to change out my card. AP's on the left, HP's on the right. So I had the option to bring out a different item in exchange for trashing an item. So now I picked the Crabmon to put into the trash because all I had was just 3 HP. It wasn't exactly gonna help me in anything. So now this version it auto detects if you don't have if you don't have any compile cards or any program cards it automatically sends you off. So I stupidly did not pick to put the Harguru Mons all the way on... Well, maybe I did. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh yeah, they're, they're set there, right? Alright, so I got two Hargurus on the field, and then that Digivice summons two more. So it lets me summon out four, which actually brings out a... What is known as a full summon phenomenon. Yeah, this version, it actually tells you what's actually the opponent's summoning, so you actually have a little bit of highlights to know what the hell you're going to get hit with. So since I have no compile and such, it's good to go. Now, since I have four of the Hagurumons, I get a full power Andromon added onto my field. So... So that's pretty much that.
So now it's time for the card battle. If I had a 3, then that would have given me 3 attack and 6 HP bonus. But since I had 4, it gave me a full power... Yeah, it gave me full power Andromon. Oh, I did state that the uh, process of them attacking has really slowed down in this version. The other version, it was used to go ching chong ching chong ching chong ching chong ching chong This one's like ching chong ching chong ching chong ching chong ching chong so this was a pretty crappy hand as well, except for since I had the Guburi, it actually saved me a little bit here. So it auto-detected I had no program card, so it just put two... Nope, I pass. So basically, I had the two Digivices to summon out the Guburimon onto the field. But I had to do it one at a time. Another Patamon. And then while they send out theirs, I can send out mine. So we can both do it at the same time. So now they got a Patamon out. And they're bringing out another Palamon. So, I got Edamon, which gave me uh, pretty much enough power to beat theirs and enough HP to last. So, I won, basically. And then I think I stood down here that looks like a Skull Mammoth Mon, but I asked for confirmation in the comments about it so gotta go to Divermon open it up because that's the only Digimon with a pair of scissors I stated I think so that's pretty much how I ended this part for the most part what I lost that bites I'll beat you next time so I also and that's pretty much it so it's time to redub the next episode so I'll see you then